It's uh, Friday, September 28th, finally the end of September, heading into the last third of the year. That was a piece, uh, one of my students this week came in who I don't see very often, and he had been listening to one of my albums, um, El Dorado, and said, I gotta learn something from that album. And I played a few things from him, and he said, oh, that looks way too hard. That's way too hard. And he didn't want to do the easiest one. Too melancholy. That was Rosa May. Anyhow, so we, we settled on that little piece I started messing with there called Yesterday's Blues. So um, I might have to get a lesson together on that because it's just kind of a cool little bluesy thing. Well, I want to go uh, kind of quickly through some of the things that happened this week, and then I want to get to answering an important question that showed up on the forum uh, relating to sync coordinating, I guess, pull-offs with bass notes and some of the techniques we can do that. So um, let me blast through the news events of the week and then we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit about being able to do this. Anyway, or things like that. We can make them sound better, I'm sure. So uh, speaking of blues, we had a few bluesy things. I want to thank Beaker for uh, coming into his lesson. We have exhausted the lessons that we shot while, while Beaker was here. So I think there are probably like 10 of them or so. Um, so I hope everybody enjoyed uh, our little look at blues theory with, with Beaker. As a matter of fact, I think there was a, a student review, yeah, of Embryonic Journey of his as well. So, Beaker, you're done till next year, man. Um, oh, and then we had Kevin learning to do Midnight Rider. And, uh, so that was the other fly on the wall that, that came out this week. So I hope uh, that, that's a really fun song to play. What he's working on right now with it is working on this and being able to sing at the same time. So if you guys, anybody's been working on Midnight Rider, being able to keep that little riff going and um, coordinate the singing, it can be kind of difficult. So I hope, hope people are having good luck with that. Uh, let's see, what else we had? Uh, Larry put up a video of Jack Van Breen talking about a really cool mixing studio software setup, uh, or well, whole integrated thing, the PreSonus uh, package. Hope you guys saw that in the Music Gear review. And let's see, what else did I want to get to? Oh, of course, a couple of cool target lessons. Um, the first one was, was basically pretty easy. It was a, a three chord song from Nickelback, Leader, uh, Leader of Men, that um, was, well, pretty basic, but a fun thing to try in drop D tuning. So I hope everybody had a chance to check that out. And then today, one of my all time favorite songs. I might get to this. I'm not sure yet. Sorry, didn't get to that in the lesson. It was a little beyond the scope of what I wanted to do. But what's so cool about that lead, and of course we're talking about Bus Stop by the Hollies, is it comes out as a round. Uh, there's a second part that is played a measure, measure late. So I hope you guys get a chance to check that out. Um, even did a little sing-along in it. Had to sing it, of course, an octave lower, which put it way down. Uh, made it not sound quite like, like the uh, tenor voices that the Hollies had. But uh, So that was... Uh, that was anyway. That was really fun. I had a, had a lot of fun putting that lesson together, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, last couple things. There've been some sort of some changes kind of going on around here. In case any, uh, we're experimenting with different home pages and stuff. So, uh, we like the picture of of the beach. There might even be more beach pictures coming out. But the biggest one is we got a suggestion a couple weeks ago about the uh, uh, sometimes songs are. If you're looking for a particular song, we have so many free songs up here now, there's like 60 or 70, maybe more, um, that they're hard to find. If, if something's in the free section, you might not look under the in the target section or something. So anyway, we have consolidated the master menu or where it now says all lessons, 
it's all lessons and all the free ones are marked. So if you're not a Target member and you just want to look at the free lessons, just go down the list of all the lessons and check out some of the free ones. Of course, if you're a Target member, you can check out the free ones too. Um, now, getting to what uh, I believe it was Willem asked a question in the questions and answer little section about saying he was having trouble getting, uh, doing pull-offs and hitting bass notes at the same time. Now, the technique is is difficult, and most people have trouble with this in the beginning. What I would do is practice only that one move. Don't try to work it on into a song yet. Like, don't don't tackle the fisherman. That's not a good place to start for learning this technique. So just play a chord like a D chord, and let's do it on D, I guess. And first just try hitting, let's say I'm gonna pull off from G to F sharp. First just do that by itself, and get, get that, that motion down and try to make sure it's exactly in time. So I've now I've kind of established a pace. Then try to do that exact same thing, but just hit a string at the same time with your thumb. Let's, let's hit the open D string. Now I'm thinking of that as beat four going on to beat one. Two, three, four, one. And practice the same thing with a hammer on. Hitting it open. But practice again, do the move first, the hammer on or the pull off, a bunch of times to kind of get, get that wheel turning, and then try to, try to hit, hit your thumb at the same time. Now probably what's going to happen the first time, if you haven't quite got this yet, is something like this. You're going to do the pull off quickly and then play the, the bass on time, or it might be late. Not synchronized like that. So again, the goal is to land them exactly together. but isolating it is really the key. Don't try to do it in the middle of a, of a song. Break it down to just that one beat with what, what's happening and, and practice the move and practice it with different fingers. Like go to a C chord, maybe do a hammer on with your fourth finger. Hammering on D while you hit C in the bass. Or hammering on C. So anyway, the key to most things is shrink them down to just the immediate uh, move or whatever you have to have to do in there. So, okay, I think that's it for today. Let me see if there's anything else I should have remembered. Sir sort of Phil Oaks on the radio, outside of a small circle of friends. But I have to. Which is not this. It's kind of like this though. Kind of this ragtimey thing. I'm sure some of you old timers remember this. same chord progression as that little G thing I was playing. Okay, um, what is else? Big news for next week. Nope. We'll see. Stick around and hopefully we'll have something from Steve Rose. I know he's working on, on some cool uh, more essays for the uh, the listening post. And uh, a little more from Jack Jack Van Breen. A little from Keith Holland I think is, is in the pipeline too. So uh, we're working on all that stuff. In the meantime, I will see you next week.